Hi guys, today in this video we will read motion gestures from our MPU6050 sensor and we will transmit it to another Arduino using 433MHz RF module so that it will be easier for anyone to implement motion gestures in their project and they can transmit them wirelessly. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. So guys, in my previous video, I have discussed how to use MPU6050 for motion gesture detection and how we can use that in our projects. But in that case, the MPU6050 was wired to the same Arduino and it was not a good idea. So I thought of making it wireless and to make that wireless, we'll be using 433MHz RF modules. I already made a video on 433MHz RF module, so make sure you watch that before this. And watch my MPU6050 video as well before starting with this one. You can find both in card section. So before we'll start with this one, we'll be needing these things. So very first, two Arduinos, one MPU6050 and 433MHz RF module, two breadboard and few jumpers. If you don't have this stuff, please check out the link given in description to buy this stuff. So I'll consider that you have all the stuff and you already watched these two videos I mentioned. And you did set up the required libraries and examples in your system with the help of these videos. Now since we are gonna use a 433MHz RF module. So each of these will go with each of these Arduinos, which means the Arduino with TX module will become our transmitter circuit and with transmitter circuit will connect our MPU6050. So Arduino will read gestures from MPU6050 and the transmitter module will transmit it. Then talking about the receiver module, so basically we need to connect receiver module to another Arduino. And that Arduino will receive motion gesture data from the transmitter side and it will show the output in our case it will light up the LED. So we got the idea about the project. So in short we will be reading MPU6050 data and transmitting it using transmitter module. And on the other Arduino we will be receiving it with the receiver module. And it will turn on or turn off LED based on the gesture made at transmitter side. So it's time to start with the circuit part. So first let's talk about the circuit. So follow the shown schematics and connect the transmitter module and MPU6050 to Arduino as shown. As I already connected it. Then for the receiver circuit please follow the shown receiver schematics. I already connected the LED and receiver module to Arduino. Now it's time for the coding part. So I already uploaded my code on GitHub. Please download that code from my GitHub. So first, let's talk about the transmitter code. It is similar to my previous video's MPU6050 gesture code. So here first we added all the required libraries. Then we created a driver variable which we'll use later. And this MPU variable is created which we will also use later for initialization and etc. Then we declared variables to store gyro and accelerometer values. Then I declared a structure which will store xy values of accelerometer. This one is not necessary but if you want you can go with simple integer variable as well. Then I created a data variable of my structure so that we can access those xy values. We started a serial communication here for the debugging of code. Then this condition will check if RF driver is initialized properly or not and if it is not the case then we can see that in serial monitor. And this line will start the wire library. And then by this line we initialize our MPU6050. Now the main part of the code is in loop section. So very first we created two message character arrays of 12 characters long. Which will be transmitted using transmitter. Then by this command we can access XYZ gyro and accelerometer values. And in these two lines we are converting XY accelerometer values into the range of 0 to 255. And storing in x and y variable of the structure using data variable 
of the structure we created previously. Now with those xy values of accelerometer, we wrote all these conditions depending upon the values of up, down, left, right gestures, which I already explained in my previous video. And since we just want to send two character arrays only to turn LED on and turn LED off. So in gesture 1, we are sending the message one character array to turn LED on. And in gesture 2, we'll send message two character array to turn LED off. After this, it will wait until the package is sent followed by this 0.1 second delay. Now let's upload this code to the transmitter part of our project. So now let's go with receiver code. So the receiver code is the old code which I used in my 433 MHz receiver transmitter video. So here we added few required libraries. Now here also we created a RHASK type driver variable. Then here in setup we declared pin 13 as output. Then we started a serial communication here and in this line we'll check if driver is initialized properly or not. Now in loop we created a buff variable of 12 character long and in buff length variable we are storing the size of buff variable. Then we declared a string variable and this line will see if we are receiving any data. And if yes then it will run the code inside of it. Then this whole part will convert the array of characters into proper string. Then this line will check if the received message is turn LED on. And if it is the case, then it will turn the LED on. And if it is not the case, then it will keep the LED off. So let's upload this code to Rx part of our project. So now it's time for the action. So as you can see, whenever we tilt our MPU 6050 downwards, it turns the LED on on the receiver side. And when again we tilt it up, then it triggers the LED off. So guys, I hope I covered everything in this video about how to use MPU 6050 gestures wirelessly with 433 MHz RF modules in your project. And in future, I'll also use this setup in my upcoming projects. So stay tuned for those. And if you have any doubts, let me know in comment section. And follow me on Instagram and help me grow my channel by supporting me on PayPal. All the links are in description as usual. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video of mine. Till then keep exploring.